Ashok ji, the most prompt, most earliest. Please start the. Uh, Karthik, uh, yes. I can't see the screen. J Baba, maybe. Uh... So let's let's ask Ravi to read. Sure, Ravi, go ahead. Yeah. Thank you, Sanjay. J Baba, Sanjay. The <laughs> screen is not on. Only for you. I oh. think Ravi, you're able. Ravi, you're able to see. Yeah. Just uh, disconnect and come back, Ashok. Yeah, yeah. How okay. come it's, it's disappeared? Maybe you can get started. Yeah. You can see it. Disappeared. Oh. No, wait, wait. That's me. Okay. Three, three of the masters uh, of Meher Baba's favorite couplets of Hafiz, a mystical Persian poet, befitting a fortunate slave carry out every command of the master without any question of why and what. About what you hear from the master, never say it is wrong because, my dear, the fault lies in your own incapacity to understand him. I am slave of the master who has released me from ignorance. Whatever my master does is of the highest benefit to all concerned. Hafiz. Avatar, Meher Baba Ki. Meher Baba Ki Jai. Ji Jai. So, um, where are we? We are, uh, we, we read up to two, 269, page 269. We, our last session was uh, 2nd of July. Then we had the break for Silence Day. Uh, then we actually spent two sessions reading uh, an article about uh, Myrtle Beach, um, which appeared in the Globe. Um, that took us till yesterday. Um, that that was two two sessions, and uh, now we continue uh, and and finish off uh, this. Uh, uh, I mean, continue the journey with uh, Wayfarer's supplement and read about the marked out uh, specific uh, uh, musts uh, in the supplement. I was going through my old issues of Glow and I found a little gem that uh, we could read at the end of this uh, book. So there is uh, there are two Baba lovers that have uh, commented on uh must like uh advanced pilgrims in the christian and western traditions so has as we have seen in this book uh most of the references are to people from the subcontinent and baba traveled those 50, 30 or 40000 miles within the indian subcontinent and met those thousands of uh, uh advanced souls only here now that that book attempts to see uh, what are the must-like behaviors that are recorded? Uh, not that book, that's just a, a few chapters, but it refers to a book, uh, a very old book. Uh, uh, but it refers to, I mean, it's a Baba Lava that's writing it. So he's he's trying to see what are the Western incidents and uh, uh, comparable advanced soul references in the biblical traditions. So I thought it might be a good way to wrap up this book. So after this book, I suggest that we read uh, maybe the, these three, four pages together. It's from the spring 2022 Glow edition. Just uh, a thought from my side. OK, with that, um, let's get started uh, with the reading itself. And uh, Maybe one question. Um, uh, one question, sir. Karthik. Sure, sure. So right. you read the last two weeks about uh, reading glow. Which uh, glow is that? Uh, it was the summer uh, glow, which had a the latest article. one. Latest oh, one. The latest one. Okay, okay, okay. I read only yeah. one article yeah. in that. Uh, what is that about? Interesting. I thought it was very interesting. I think Glorisha. Uh, there is a very interesting ah, article on yes, yes, Glorisha. Yes. Very interesting. Glorisha. <laughs> Very, yes, we know yes, very, very little about him. So very yeah. little. Yeah. So in you fact, know, I read that. about this uh, the aspect of him being in uh, uh, the the British company. Kidmat 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 K
Yeah. But yeah. I don't know where I read it, but I, I don't know which book, but I do remember reading it somewhere else. But yeah, it was a very nice article. He yeah. was a medical practitioner, actually. Okay. Also, also. Yunani. Yeah. Yunani. And that Yunani shop, medicine. shop is still there, probably. Somebody else was still there. Yes, yeah. yes. And uh, last year I saw a movie, Abdul, Victoria and Abdul. Have you ever seen any okay. of you seen that movie? No. It's very interesting. Uh, uh, there was a mention of this uh, uh, cook also there, but uh, Abdul was invited uh, to England to present. Uh, he was working as in the prison in Agra. The Britisher sends him, he get, they get an award, and uh, the, the Britisher sends this guy, Abdul, to England to present uh, to Victoria, and uh, Victoria ignores him, and finally she falls in uh, deep love with him, not, I mean, as a son, you know. She ignores everybody else, including her own children, but he pays, she pays attention to him. And she pays attention so much that in the last moments, she drives away all these people, but she allows only Abdul's to stay with, uh, with her. And she says something sublime from the Quran, and she listens to that, and then she passes away. See that movie? It's in Netflix, I think. So is See this that? fictional? Okay. Huh? It's a real story. Real story. Uh, it? Okay. Real story. Uh, this guy was, after Victoria died, they're all jealous of him. They ransacked his house and uh, they kick him out. They send him back to India. In India, he's, he lives for a couple of years, I think, and he writes this book and then dies. Wow. Uh, it's very, uh, they found this book about in 2011 or 2010, and recently they took a movie out of it. Yes, yes, yes. I think I've seen it partly, yeah, somewhere I've oh, seen yes. it. Oh, yeah. yeah. In so in that Glow magazine, he, they mentioned about uh, this, uh, this Abdullah also. Yeah, there is a Abdul, Abdul mentioned in the Glow, I think. Yeah. yeah. It, very interesting. I should see this movie. I, 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 I've somehow, um, I, so many times I look for stuff on Netflix and I nothing holds my interest. This might be very interesting. <laughs> mm. And you know who, Victoria, or, or, right? You know who is Victoria, right? Yeah, You're the queen. Of the queen, the, right? No. The queen of England. And Raviji, yeah, I yeah. have seen this movie. No, 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 no. She is born, uh, reincarnated uh, as a uh, small corset. Oh. oh, really? I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. You know, there are the two corsets, right? One is uh, Baba's brother's wife. Mm -hmm. And there's one more corset. Uh, her parents are, uh, they live in, uh, they live in the trust office. Uh, forgot their names, but uh, cor small corset is... Uh, Re rebirth of Victoria. That's what Baba said. Fantastic. This is interesting. Another reason mm. why we should see this. Yes. Yeah. Also, but what's the reference of Abdul in the glow? What's exactly the reference? No, I think he's, he's uh, one he of the Kidmat Gars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, Ravi? He, yeah, he became he becomes very close to be a Queen Victoria. Yeah, okay. Okay. And he is a Hafiz. I mean, Hafiz means he he learned uh, uh, Quran by heart. Okay, so, by the way, this is what we read, uh, Ravi, um, without taking too much of, too much of uh, oh, okay, okay. time on this. This is uh, yeah, 16, yeah, yeah, yeah. 16 pages, but then the history of uh, oh. uh, the center. This okay. is Kitty Devi's uh, account. There's one more three-page account of uh, Elizabeth Patterson. Oh, and yeah. uh, 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 I, I think uh, I also found one more uh, 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 reference on in the older editions of uh, uh, Globe last year. Mm. There is a mm. six page account on uh, Yupon Dunes, mm. right? The, the property that uh, Sufism controls now, but uh, again, Elizabeth's uh, old uh, uh, father's own property and Baba recuperated. So uh, the record has it that uh, the longest stay Baba had in the U.S. ever mm. was in Newport Dunes. Mm. 
and this was after the 1952 accident so yeah, after that he came back. back yeah he came back and recuperated in that um, uh, house and it's fascinating how he ensured that the house was kept for him because obviously he, he had the 52 incident in mind and the need for the house because the center literally was not ready for a patient right and he was a patient and he had multiple patients with him when he arrived back from 52 this was well suited for that need and he actually told elizabeth and uh, uh, kitty that uh, keep the house uh, i mean take the house or accept the house as uh, the father uh, gave it to him and said that there will be a special use of it and those were uh, words something to that effect so it's fascinating how he actually worked with all of these things, uh, you know, uh, uh, much before they happened. And you know the incident of the the flower, right? The the flower that Baba gave uh, about the accident. To yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. Then Baba, did they mention in this article that uh, Baba said that uh, one minor avatar walked through this place in Myrtle Beach? Was that mentioned oh. here? No, it's not. No. That's interesting. So, somewhere I read, somewhere, I don't remember where. But Baba it's... said that uh, in the past, he didn't say very specifically who it was, but one of the minor avatars came and walked through this just to prepare this for Baba or something like that. Wow. There's a lot of uh, interesting stuff about uh, US. Uh, you know the route that Baba took, right? The route that Baba took from uh, Myrtle Beach to um, Oklahoma. Yeah. Uh, I believe there is a lot of uh, uh, tradition or historical importance to that route itself. The route passes through uh, a lot of uh, uh, regions that were worst affected by the... The, uh, the black people. Yeah, the Indians. More the the Indians that uh, lived the uh, red Indians in... that the red Indians, yeah. Indians so the red Indians and the blacks, blacks much later, but red Indians were actually dispossessed of their land and so on. So it's called mm -hmm. the route of tears or something like that. So I'll I'll find Out of out. Tears. I think right? it's uh, I think there is a in the in the YouTube there is a Jamie Newell. You heard his name. Oh before? yeah, I've heard Jamie Newell. Yeah, yeah Jim yeah. Newell. Yeah, Jamie Newell created a, his own imagination. How, why Baba selected this route? I saw it, but I have my own doubts about it. <laughs> I mean, a lot of okay. slaves were being. Uh, yeah, I think that's where I saw know? it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's there on the YouTube. Yeah. If you if you if you click on uh, Meher Baba Jamie Newell, one of these words, you'll get that uh, video. Okay, so I think we have been uh, fooling around enough. Let's get to some reading. Yeah. <laughs> 269. Uh, yeah, so guest of the day. Ravi, you want to read for a few pages? Sure. Sure. So what we are reading is the ones that which are marked out like this, but we read out the whole thing. And as always, we can stop and discuss anytime. Jai Baba. Yeah, Jai Baba. Kashmir. What is uh, NLB? I'm not sure. Enclosure B. So Enclosure that's a B. map reference. So I enlargement see. B. So if you see enlargement oh, see. B, this is enlargement B. Bo. I see. That the place is Bo. Bo. Yeah. Bo. Yeah. Okay. Anand Sahab. Anad Sahab. A good. Anad Sahab. Uh, a good must, middle aged, dressed in dirty, ramish clothes. He usually sits on a bridge. Opposite the police station at Boo. It is said that he sits there in the same clothes even in the bitter winter weather, and Kashmir is very cold then with a great deal of frost and snow. He was brought to the police station for contact. Anwar Sahab, no further record. Oh, I have to start, read oh, yeah. only, only these the stars. Right. Yes, yes. Okay. Kashmir. Chundangam. Chundangam. Na, nab, yeah, Nab Sahe, Gulam Nabi, a very high must. He is perhaps 60 years old and lives on the upper floor of his house 
where his old mother and his children still live. When Baba came, he took Baba's hat and placed it on his own head and put his own rather dirty Patan cap, Kulla, on Baba's head. He is one of the five great masks of Kashmir. See photograph. Okay, let's just quickly see the photograph. Yeah, Noor Snow, Nab Sahib, th this person. So that's the cap mm. he must have put on Baba, Nab Sahib mm. of Chudan, Chundan Gam. Okay, Chundan Gam is again enclosure B. There it is. Uh, above Sumbal. Mm. Yeah, this uh, this is all north. Yeah, uh, Chundan Gam mm. is north of uh, Srinagar. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. So you, you want to read the next one or the next yeah, uh, yeah, stars? Kashmir Dalwan. Ahab. No, uh, I think Sahib. Nur Shah. We haven't read Nur Shah. Shah. Oh, okay. Kashmir. Chindu. Chindlur. Nur Shah. Nur Shah. A high mast who is almost always naked and is of the 66th and rarest type. He lives in a wooden hut. And at the time of contact, he gave Baba a cucumber, being that day fortunately in one of his rare periods of good mood. He is a tall, thin old man, perhaps 70 years of age. Baba later ate the cucumber. After having had it cooked, this must is of double importance, being one of the five great masks of Kashmir and also one of the three in India of the rarest type of all masks, the sixth type, see photograph. Okay, this is 1944, September 1, and uh, Noor Shah is here. Mm -hmm. uh, Upper, okay. Yeah. Chandlur, okay. This is Dit Ditra Shah. No, no, the first page, uh, first one is Noor Shah. Okay. So the first one, uh, in the photographs is Noor Shah, but that's, that, that appears second in the supplement. So this is the one Baba said who gave the cucumber. And he is the one that exchanged caps. That is Nab Sahib. Nab Sahib. That appears first in the supplement. He okay. had a family, so, right? He has a family. Uh, Nab Sahib? His, did, it, did it say that? His mother and... Uh, see, he, he, they wrote it here, right? His yeah, mother. yeah, yeah. Old mother and his children are still there, yeah. Old mother. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go to Mangom now. Mangom. So uh, please chime in, uh, Sunil and uh, uh, Namita, if uh, these places uh, bring to bring something else to mind. Uh, all these uh, exotic Kashmiri locations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Pand Pandit Kashkak. A very high and powerful mast, and one of the five great masts of Kashmir. He is sometimes a mazub like state, and at times in a salik like state. He is perhaps 70 years old, of middle height, and he reminded everyone of Upasni Maharaj by his appearance. He has the most of the characteristics of a Jalali mast and is inclined to be fairy at times. He often sits on the roadside near a bridge at Mangom. 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 At the third contact, he gave Baba an apple. See photograph. Kashkak. So, Pandit Kashkak. 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 Actually, it's Kashkak. Uh, upar hai, upar. Yeah. Ah. Kaya. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought the third one was it. <laughs> yeah, Ramba Mastan. Wahab Sahib. Ah, yeah, Pandit Kashkak. Yeah, Kashkak, yeah, sir. Yeah. Kashkak of Kashmir. One of the five great musts of Kashmir. Mm. By the way, uh, let's just see the sixth type that uh, is referred here. So he's saying there's only one of three uh, as far as uh, Noor Shah is concerned. So we'll just see what that sixth type is in, in a second.
so it's, yeah so it's a very rare type five in every cycle and uh, at the beginning of a cycle uh, at cycle two more so replaced by successor as they drop the body so this is a very very rare must so the one we read about um, here which is uh, noor shah the naked one who gave the cucumber is the rarest of all types of must he's the sixth type so just for the record okay so and even this one pandit kashkak is again a um, um, uh, uh, rare one let's continue marthan now marthan amir sahab mattu mattu a high must very old who is believed to be over 125 years of age he is generally naked in all seasons and he is in a mazub like state he lives in a small hut under a tree and has 10 or 12 dogs about him which he feeds before he himself eats the dogs in fact seem to eat most of the food given him see photograph so two contacts made 43 and 44 uh and the uh, amir saheb mattu there is amir saheb mattu of kashmir martand i think martand maybe not martand yeah martand martand is a place where there is a ancient uh, temple we yes. believe to be sun temple also used in few of the film songs ah okay mm. So here and it is. Recently, after, after the BJP, the Article 370 was abrogated. This site uh, is being, uh, you know, spruced up and all that. Oh, okay. So this is Martan. So it's uh, southern Kashmir. Then uh, the other place that we saw was Mangom. Mangom is here, north of uh, Srinagar. Okay. We've so, been to Mita and I a few times. Yeah. to martan Ma- martan yes okay yeah. that's it okay that's the place where the priests supposed to keep uh, all the hindu ancestry in their written books so you can ask them 300 years ago who was my great grandfather or something they can trace back wow but mm. so they seem to have moved all the records lately to jammu that's what they say so i'm not sure what is the truth what's not but it i think these places in kashmir used to be uh, very uh, how can i say seats of spiritual knowledge uh, over centuries so martan is very sacred for hindus in yes that area one of the most uh, sacred temples around that area So very when interesting pay, when we pay uh, you know respects to our ancestors we go to martan to do prayers mm. so when we went to with an i so we did prayers to our ancestors there and there's a very big uh, pond uh, it's a fresh water pond with fish in it but uh, people don't eat those fish uh, for some reason they say they are sacred fish some there are lots of stories around that maybe novita is quiet she can chime in and say something novita ji boliye yeah. kuch you by that by the way you can google martan temple oh yeah and show That's the right. picture yeah. sure one second jai baba jai baba. Jai baba yeah it's very very beautiful we should all go there i will send you photos of our trip there and um, there is also a, a a sick um temple attached to it at, at some point in time uh, and there's also a very popular shrine for muslims around there as well in the hills and um uh, temples around it they treated us so beautifully it was one of the most beautiful profound experiences we had there um so yeah we prayed to our ancestors the water is crystal clear uh, in the middle of the uh, it's a spring in the middle of the spring is a shiva temple big shivlinga and um, around that there are now new temple as also there's also a place for uh, pilgrims to stay it's on the way to pahalgam and um, 
yeah it's 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 so nice and at that time you know you, uh, i saw uh, in the i still have the photos i'll share it later i have a, a photo of ganesha behind in the in the trees i could see him uh, and then i met a singer who sang oh my god i'll find that video and tell you in martha it was like the lord was singing you know i cried so much then and mm. yeah if baba wills we should all go there together it's so beautiful so beautiful. one of my most favorite places in the world very very nice mm. something talks to you there and uh, wow it's it's just wonderful i'll i'll share the photos later and the names of mas you were talking about pandit kishka and all i've heard of these people when we were growing up our our father wow. yeah so my father was quite you know he would go to these mas to seek blessings and all so we've heard of these names and uh, pandit kishka even today um, uh, kashmiri pandits pray to him Uh, so so these these are like ringing a bell you know um so i'm doing my little um, must homework i will share it with all of you um in the end of this session so please carry on thank you very much awesome so are are these the photographs from uh, so it's basically the sun temple and uh, uh, uh the sun temple has the lingam no 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 this is not this is not oh, this is not the one okay is nearby but it's not uh, yeah ma, ma, no yeah it is it, this is also nearby but what we are talking about is a spring martand uh, martand temple they also used to call it mutton and the other thing is mutton yeah ah uh, mutton uh, as him sunay so was saying no we do prayers for our ancestors so wo jo pitra din hote hai na yahan pe chukaye ja sakte hain what no this is not correct uh, Yeah, Martin, so I... you, know, you don't give uh, Martin. Uh, you you say uh, Martin. Just say Martin. 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 Uh, Martin. Martin. Uh, Me T A N. Ah. Ah, how is it spelling? Martin. I think you say M A T H A N in Anantnag. It's a uh, district Anantnag. Let me try. It is so beautiful. <laughs> I, 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 garbage in gar. Ah, oh, there it is. This is the one. M e a t t a m. Yes, this is, this the, the, one? This is, the, is the one. Is this the one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, this is this one. Wow. Ah, this is the beautiful, so crystal clear water oh. and stuff. Yeah. It's so Why? wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one. Look at the winding so, road. By the gods, and then you pray to your ancestors. Then you can, you know, hire a pundit, and he does the prayers. Um, so yeah, and this is the one. Yeah, I was. Right. That there's a temple in in the middle. Uh, and the fishes. There. Yeah, they have. Oh, the fishes are like millions of them. And the color of the water is to it takes you to the other world. It's so nice. It's so nice and fresh. The feeling. Hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. Also, what brings to my mind is, you know, people say <clears throat> Kashmir uh, as a place used to be spiritually elevated, so uh, people used to go there for whatever meditations or. Uh, so, I look at our ancestors. I mean, this is nothing to boast about, but. Uh, Nomita side, my side, my maternal side, my paternal side. I I can see a lot of connect or along spirituality. So, you know, my father's side, uh, my grandfather was Baba's disciple. My maternal mm. grandfather. Uh, I'm remembering this because we're talking about mas. So he used to near to his house. There was one madman who would roam around the streets, and kids would throw stones at him because he was supposed to be mad. So my grandfather, every day, maternal grandfather would come back at lunch, 
his workplace was a few kilometers away, he would walk back. So either lunch or dinner time, he would get this madman into the house. And this guy would walk into the house like a cat, eat his lunch or dinner, and like a cat, go back and back to the street and doing all the things that he used to do. And the reason he would do that is uh, he would say that these people are elevated souls. But there was uh, some knowledge existing in that ecosystem over there of spirituality, which we are learning now through the books. So just that thought came to my mind. Uh, That's great. Uh, Karthik, I yeah? sent you a video on WhatsApp. Can you show it? Then I'll explain to you what this guy is singing. Oh, oh, that oh, 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 where, where? Hold on, hold on. On WhatsApp. It, I sent it, it to you on God Speaks group, WhatsApp. One second. I don't seem to have got it. Okay, I send you again. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I... Did it come? You no, no, listen think... to it. And I'll translate it for you. It's One such second. a beautiful. I cried so much. In front. This guy. Yeah, it a... came now because it is a large file. Behind, you can see um, um, when, when you show it. I'll tell you. You can see Ganesha's image in the trees. This is such. It's carved in my soul. You know this moment. Wow, I can't wait to see it. Hold on one second. I'll just download it and. You know, when you ask me to talk, I can hijack the whole conversation. You should be very careful. <laughs> can you hear the audio? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Namaskar. Kumbi Brahmandas Yusu Sungare Aksui Mantur Yusu Chatasukare Tasas Mantur Kyajan Sare I'm a Panasadras Navi Chasalama कर बोझ दाई म्यों मिट दी ता आम्यन टा क्यन पूछूं श्रमां जोचूं ब्रह्मां गर जाचां सन्य कोत सन्य चुई मन कोई समंदर वटलाई का Mukhtar Satche Rajalam Satche Vachipak Adma Lilab Bav Sarta Kusumarit Kasumaran Ad Kusumarit Maran Kas Yusuf हर हर त्रयित गर गर करे अदसु मरत मारन तस यत जत दर्शन बस मादारे प्रारे कोता का ही शंभु रख पाल सामी Ishwambu Dachipa Ishmar Mianyan Papi Karman Kusukari Vanishuma Tui Chuku Anyan Anyagat Kaasan Tui Chuku Bakushan Haar 
ಜಮಿಕಿನ ಸಾರಿ ಚಿತೇವಾನ ದೀನನ ಹುಂದು ದಯಾ ಹಿ ಶಂಭು ರಖ್ಯ ಪಾಲ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಹಿ ಶಂಭು ರಖ್ಯ ಪಾಲ ಯತದ ತದರ್ಶುನ್ ಬಸು ಮಾದಾರೈ ಪ್ರಾರೈ ಕೋತಾಕ ಹಿ ಶಂಭು ರಖ್ಯ ಪಾಲ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಹಿ ಶಂಭು ರಖ್ಯ Wow, from the heart. Divine. He is, sang the, it. is the language Kashmiri or? Yeah, he is Kashmiri and I was tying my shoelaces to leave. And uh, one person told me, he said, do you know him? I said, no, I don't know him. So he says he's a very famous singer from here. And he's also wow. ahead. So it was like this meeting lasted for maybe another five minutes. And he sang this for me. I said, can you sing for me? And he sang. So... essentially he is saying that you know i am trying to cross this world through with, with the help of a thread uh, can you can you take me over let me cross this river god and out of all the mantras in the world the highest is omkar <laughs> and uh, so he's he's just uh, submitting to the almighty and saying that let me cross this ocean of life be great show me your grace that's what it is thank you for sharing thank you okay. for sharing i mean it uh, almost transported us to kashmir the photographs the video and all the nice thoughts about what uh, uh, that place is about thank you so much when you when you yeah. see it later, when you have time you see behind him there's a tree that looks like ganesha you know later not now later you see in your own time okay you can share it in the group so that the rest of them can also see thank you jay baba let's continue thank you amita ji yeah. it is phenomenal it really transported us into another world jay baba dekho pehle dekho pehle iske ticket lagta hai thank you thank you sumit <laughs> also one thing that comes to my mind is uh, <clears throat> most of the kashmiri prayers uh through the songs like the one that you heard are mostly pleading to the god to bestow the grace on us it's just that repeatedly in different ways different forms please help us cross this world please help us cross this river that's what this guy was also saying so it's just please and please and please that we have countless sins that we have committed please help us erase them please help us shorten our journey and things like that and that's what i've seen across all the kashmiri pandits uh, praying most of the time it's a yes level of prayer of praying or whatever not asking yeah jai baba super thank you uh so i think uh, so um, it's amazing to know the spiritual tra- spiritual and hindu traditions that were vibrant back then um I, obviously um, baba uh, in his minor avatar has also set up a uh, um the math there right the shankracharya uh, which i think is slowly getting restored and whatever and i i recently learned about the origin of the name itself kashmir right it comes from uh, uh, a hindu tradition the Ka- the kashyap muni and all of that is that is that true sunil okay anyway i think uh, sunil okay uh, let's continue um we were we finished with uh, um, amir saheb mattu um anybody else wants to read i can read if if no one is there I yeah can please go ahead so <coughs> shrinagar uh, hari har namdar hari har yeah hari har namdar yeah i must sometimes uh, salik like and sometimes mazhoop like <coughs> 
He is very old man, believed to be about 105 years old, is naked and sits under a tree. He is a mahant, the head of sect, and is also the head of an ashram where many of his disciples live. It's 1943 September to 1944 September 4. Lakshman Das. <clears throat> this is an interesting example of seeker who missed his chance of being contacted by Baba. One day Baba went to his ashram incognito and was told that Lakshman Das was having a bath and would not see anyone. A few days later, Lakshman Das heard that Nir Baba was in the vicinity and he sent woman disciple to ask Baba for an interview. Baba refused, saying that he had missed his chance the first time and that this lost, this lost chance could, now, could not now be called back. This was in 1944. So we actually My have instruction. we have a, a example of a must who didn't have a contact, but he is recorded here. Very interesting. Yeah. My Mastani, an old Mastani and a good one. She had <clears throat> peculiarity of eating grass and rice and of drinking milk, milkless tea. When Baidul first went to see her, she gave him 25 chapatis, which Baba distributed among the mandali. 1942, August 20. Mirak Shah, an advanced pilgrim, very well known throughout the Kashmir, who has an ashram at Shalimar village, close to the famous Shalimar gardens. He wrote a letter to Baba, telling him that he, Baba, was a god. 1943 September to 1944 August. It continues. So it's it's continuing. It's, it's continuing. And that, uh, uh, yeah, and that he wanted to come and lie with him. He is fair of skin and a narrow face, is a middle-aged, wears good clothes, and he gathers money from those who come to see him and gives fists to the poor at a certain times. <coughs> All of these are Srinagar, still continuing. Subhan, Subhan Mattu. Mattu. Subhan Mattu. A very, a very good must who is always happy. He is perhaps 50 years old and covers his face with mud and henna. When Kaka first saw him before Baba's contact in 1943, he gave Kaka an orange and one Anna. In 1944, Masa brought, Masa brought him to Baba and he rolled, out, he rolled on the ground when he came into Baba's presence and looking at Baba, cried out, He is Allah. He, was the, he has the reputation of having been seen in places far apart in the Kashmir Valley at very short intervals, and it is believed that he moves about in a mysterious way by some special power. 1943 September to 1944 September, uh, sorry, August 20. <clears throat> Name not known. This was during the tour of the Western Group in Indi to India in 1933, when they were passing the gate of famous Shalimar Gardens on their way back from Harwa, they noticed a short, thin man with closely shaved head. His face was the epitome of a grimace, and he was he was playing the giddy goat with a crow uh, with a crowd of children who were enjoying his uh, uh, fun immensely. He came up to Baba, stretching out his hand and laughing, and Baba smiled at him and made gestures back at him. Baba later explained that he was a borrowed agent who had the capacity who had the capacity to project his body to any place that is he was abdul he was ah. abdal yeah, he was an abdal and that he specially worked among the amongst children and young people for explanation of a borrowed agent see the additional supplement at the end of this supplement so Abdels and Gauss are two extreme cases of uh, advanced souls. Gauss move their uh, parts and Abdels uh, are able to teleport, right? They, they transport themselves. So interesting that uh, there's an Abdel in uh, Kashmir, yeah. in Srinagar. Rahim. So this Rahim. is Tulamul now, Tulamal. Yeah, Kashmir Tulamal from uh, yeah, Kashmir Tulamal uh, from yeah, year is 1943 September to 1944 August 29. Rahim Sahib. 
So it's uh, actually the of... dates are two different dates. It's not two. So first he met in 1943 okay. September. Second he met on 29th of August uh, 1944. So two meetings. Meetings. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> he's one of the five great must of Kashmir. He he's in a mazuk like state and wonders about the lanes and meadows of Tulamul. At the time of contact, he gave Baba a piece of an old brush and a lump of brick, and to Baidul a morsel of wood of wood and some cow dung. He is an old man and is famous in Kashmir as a great must. See photograph. So let's go back and see the photograph. Rahim Sahib must be in that same group. Yeah, here he is. Rahim Sahib, one of the Rahim five great must. Tulamul. 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 We go to this. Tul, uh, it's like our family deity, you know, Tulmul. Every time we go, uh, oh. we, we visit Tulmul. It's also a spring, and there's a temple in between. And uh, all Kashmiri Pandits remember this place a lot. My father's birthday, we used to have Havan for years in this Tulmul place. Very, very nice uh, uh, place. Yeah. So, Is Namita ji, the Mira of this group, you owe us a Kashmir, uh, you know, guided tour. Paisa lagte hain paise. Aap paise de denge na. Dikhane ke, dikhane ke paise hain to. Ah, ye hai, ye hai. This is Tulmul. This we will always go. I have a video of my dad telling me the reverence of this place. Wow. Yeah. You know the color of this water keeps on changing. When there is trouble in Kashmir, it turns red. If you wow. Google. And when the times are good, you know, it is like this color. Wow. This is this is like, uh, you know, we've grown up with this being the place to go. It has lots of spiritual energy. Every time we go to Kashmir, first thing we, we drop our things in the hotel or wherever we are staying now. And first thing we go is to Tulmul. Tulmul. The coat of gold. You see, do you see that change in color? There is red somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, in good days, it's like nice green. Wow. Mm. It is also so. Decide when you want to go. We'll all go together. Yes. So you are also from Kashmir, Kashmiri Pandit. Yes. Yeah, I'm a Kashmiri Pandit. My husband is also a Kashmiri Pandit. Tulmul, where is Tulmul now? Yeah. Oh my god, this is so nice. Oh my god. Baba is educating us so much. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, we are transported to that time and era and that region. Yes. You know, we used to have these must, some of them come to our house. And I used to be so scared of them because they look a little off, you know. Mm. And in my grandfather's, we wear something like a khula kurta, it's called firan. So as soon as one of them would come, I would just go inside his uh, kurta and just hide myself when I was a little girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lovely. I think it, it, so... it became all the more special with uh, both of you sharing these uh, beautiful experiences. Absolutely, and, and some valuable insights on that water color. Uh, color of the water turning red from blue. Yeah. OK, let's go to one gum. One gum or yeah. one gum? Vanagam. Yeah, Kashmir one gum probably. <clears throat> Asad Sahib, he is another one, of the... One gum, sorry. One, one gum. gum, okay. One gum, gum. The name of village. One is like, one is like a forest, one gum. There it is. Kind yeah. ke paas. Kind ke paas hai one gum. One gum. Yes. One gum. Asad Sahib, he is another of the five great mass of Kashmir, naked and middle-aged. He has a dirty and scaly skin 
and lives in a awkward passage passageway on an upper floor when baba contacted him asad sahib asked to be scratched which wa which was done 1944 august 31 wow kasur kasur choudhary lot a very high must of the jalali type with an extraordinary excess of clothes for he lived in a tiny room and wore lots and lots of clothes and besides covered himself with five or six blankets he would wear all these clothes without reference to the season being thus clad even in the hottest months he was difficult to contact because of his uh, irascible disposition and baidur was beaten on the back with the with a sandal if any woman came near him he would beat them too a difficult must but but a good one 1943 september 26 kasur continued munda <coughs> munda baba an advanced pilgrim aged 18 who had been baba who had been baba explained a yogi in the past life he wore archer archer clothes and was very loth loth to let baba live he ran after baba made him sit down and offered him buttermilk lassi baba ex- explained that they had to leave in order to catch a train to which the boy replied i will stop the train you must stay baba sat for a while and munda and munda baba began to sing and told baba's mandali to sing baba signed to dr gani to sing and he obliged rather shyly after the fashion of those not used to singing to a strange audience munda baba lives in a village called pitni a few miles from kasur 1943 july 16 kasur 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 is not here ha huh? yeah it's not even here i think is, is it a full part of india or some part right now is in some maybe in the pakistan or somewhere oh wait a second yeah you're right this is not an enclosure b it's d3 a3 d3 kasur uh a b c d so somewhere in uh, punjab punjab okay yeah it's punjab yeah there it is kasur so uh, near ludhiana uh, i i think you're right it's the pakistani side of the border maybe because it's closer yeah, to lahore than ludhiana so sadly that uh, means that we ended the kashmiri bit i think this was the last yeah. uh one gum was the last marked out one and uh, the last one was a place called zainakut zainakut <laughs> zainakut yeah in kashmir zainakut. so now now we are going away from kashmir yeah kat godam now um yeah katha godam katha godam kat godam kat godam is in uh, uttarakhand near uh, okay. raniket kat godam pat godam kat godam is kat godam kat godam काट गोदाम काट गोदाम काट गोदाम वेरी गुड मस्त वेरी गुड मस्त ऑफ एमेबल टेम्परमेंट टेम्परमेंट एंड रियल जमाली टाइप ही वॉज अ एल्डरली मैन एंड हिल मैन बाय बर्थ ही वॉज अ फर्स्ट ब्रॉड टू बाबा ऑन ट्वेल्थ जुलाई एंड फॉलोइंग डे he came spontaneously to baba's cottage <clears throat> from that day therefore baba sat with him each day in seclusion for several hours on the 4th august uderman 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 was brought to dehradun where he stayed for about 3 weeks and was bathed and fed each day by baba baba was staying at dehradun at that time with a large group of disciples on the 12th september he was brought to baba in lonawala but there fell ill but there fell ill of uh, dysentery and was sent to merabad for treatment unfortunately the treatment although pursued with much energy by those in charge of him at merabad seemed of no avail and underman was therefore sent back to 
Kathagodam in the <coughs> capable hands of Chagan. <coughs> of Chagan. Udarman, however, died at Budaon Station. Budaon Station on the way back, having had an acute exacerbation exacerbation of his dysentery in the train. It's uh, 1942, July 12, July 13, July 15, July 16, July 18, July 19, July 20, July 21, July 22, August 4, and September 12. It's 1942. Wow. Deman Mastam. Mastam. <clears throat> there is a there is a footnote here. Baba was in seclusion in a cottage in Katgodam uh, in July 1942 for 10 to 12 days. For many days, he sat with Udeman Uderman Mastan, who is described here. On 17 July 1942, Baba sat alone on a mountainside at Katgodam for one hour. Amazing. I'm so glad I've, I've at least touched this, touched Kat Godab. <laughs> I've been there once. Yeah. Kasi Pit. Kasi Pit. Pit. This should Kasi be Pit. Andhra. Okay, okay. Wali Haidar. The same name as the must above, reverse, but a very good must who loved a toady and was indifferent to food so that he had to be fed by someone else. He greeted all comers with a polite salute and a word salam. He was cared by cared for by landowner Jagirdar Jagirdar in whose house he lived he lived. But he also wondered about the countryside and was not easy to press. 1943 March and 1945 June 7. So this is nine. So was it D? E. E9. So. <laughs> e. So, Kazi Pet is uh, near Jangao, um, near Warangal. So, Andhra. Okay, Khandwa. Khandwa. Gur. Khandwa must be an MP, probably. Okay. Uh, Maybe. Uh, yes, it is an MP. It is an MP. Okay, great. Gorab Shah, a very good must, old and short uh, stature. He lived, he lived in a room facing a mosque and no one really knew his age. A man already old told Baidu that when he was a boy, Gorab Shah was a must and an old man, old man then. Gorab Shah never sat in a car. Once, however, he wanted to visit a certain village and a car was brought for his use. Gorab Shah refused to get it, get in it, but told those who had brought the car to go straight to the village. To their surprise, Gorab Shah was already in the village uh, when they arrived there. Normally, Gorab Shah took nothing from any anyone, but he broke his rule with Baidul, who gave him sweet meats and money. He has now passed away. 1941, October 12, 1944, April 27. Hari Har. <coughs> Harihar Dadaji, an Arab pilgrim who is the charge man of Dhuniwala Dada, he still keeps a sacred fire, Dhuni, burning as a Dhuniwala Dada used to do. Kaka gave him sweet meats, sweet meats, flowers, and coconut. And Dadaji garlanded Kaka with the flowers and put the coconut on the sacred fire. He lives at a Sanawat small village about four miles from Khandwa, where there is a kind of informal ashram of his attendants and disciples. See photograph, 1941, October 12. Okay, Harihar Dadaji, where is the photograph? There Harihar is Harihar Dadaji. Dadaji. Okay. Okay. Kanpur. Kanpur. Is it I Kanpur? Think, yeah, it's UP wala Kanpur only. I think spelt differently. It's Kanpur before Baba. He was a good Jalali Mas of the third plane, contacted unexpectedly on the TS journey. Mir Baba and a few of his Mandali were on their way to Hyderabad, Sindh. And shortly after sunset, Mir Baba told Kaka look, uh, to look out for a must on the stations 
at which the train stop at the kanpur yeah this is in uh, this is in andhra this is not kanpur it's different hyderabad uh, right it's close to hyderabad yeah so it's the no, kanpur only no no it's b4 uh, kana hyderabad pa- in pakistan ah okay 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 yeah got it <laughs> okay yeah. not andhra okay yeah there it is kanpur kanpur k h a n p u r pakistan thanks for pointing it out super at the kanpur kaka spotted a fat old fellow on the platform who made his way up to the compartment kaka asked him to come up into the carriage but he declined to do this and demanded a 100 rupees from the meher baba telling him for you who are an emperor this is a quite paltry sum to ask because i want to go on hajj pilgrimage to makkah the local people in the compartment laughed at his remark but they also said that many had seen him when they had gone to makkah on the pilgrimage and that he used to come and greet them there although no one knew how on earth he made his way to makkah the must then changed the topic about going on the pilgrimage to makkah and said that he wanted to buy qurans for pilgrims and meher baba offered him 100 rupees if he would come with him as far as hyderabad sin he refused but just as the as the train was about to move out he got hold of some boy on the station and the two of them bundles themselves into the compartment the must then sat down beside meher baba and promised to come to hyderabad he then began an involved conversation with meher baba catching money from him first 10 rupees then 20 and so forth and so forth until until on one pretext or another he at, at last collected a 100 rupees he then gave his this money to the boy who came with him and told him to give 10 rupees to so and so 30 to so and so and in this way he appeared to dispose of the entire sum to needy families meher baba asked the must for his blessing for the work in hyderabad and the must shook hands with meher baba and asked for his sheet which was given to him about three station further on he got up and touched meher baba's feet meher baba meher baba did same to him and then must then left the train this is an amazing and interesting example of the lens to which meher baba will go to satisfy what he might thinks to be the willy demand demands of scoundrel for the whims of madman this man was a good must and meher baba therefore went to this extraordinary uh, lens to fulfill his slightest whim wow anything like that. I doubt it as well. Here it is, Khudiyan Khas near Kasur, Kasur which we encountered earlier. Khudiyan Khas, uh, Baba Hosh Ali Shah, Baba Hosh Ali Shah, an old and naked man, but a high must in a mazub-like state. He lives at Char Charkot, a little hamlet, a few miles from Khudiyan Khas, and the tram to and from Charkot was very exhausting. and will not be soon forgotten on the return journey a donkey was commissioned to carry two of the baba's men men back to the station these two men who are both on the wrong side of 50 sat one behind the other on the donkey's back but as soon as the beast moved forward a few paces they both lost their balance and fell to the ground and so after a laugh and a sigh they set they set out on the foot to the station baba leading the way it is a very very hot and when baba many miles sorry when after many miles the station held in sight they saw that the train was already there and was apparently about to move out baidul at once ran forward and pleaded 
with the station master to hold the train another few minutes so that the rest of the party might not be left behind the station master responded to this request and they all reached the train in time one of the pair however who began the journey from charkot by failing of the donkey's back ended it by fainting in the compartment and was out for about half an hour i think this is so so useful for as a movie a plot somebody should make a movie of this is this palau <coughs> actually palau. there was a movie aha uh-huh. taken out by what's his name he lives in mehrabad now uh he's from middle beach yeah it's yeah it's a movie uh, but yeah. the the frederick the f f the f no right, no, so. no 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 uh, he took a movie about baba's must uh, tour and okay. uh, he released in the regular uh, theaters this oh, is really? like 25 35 years ago is it larry page no What's no no he is an old man he took a lot of videos of all the old baba lovers okay and published it he now lives in uh, i saw him when uh, last week last year when i was there he was in mehrabad if you can find the information about that movie i mean uh, it will be worthy it's in uh, the youtube it's in the youtube okay R- ravi please I'll, share I'll... some some context or some reference how to get to that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i will uh, it's a good movie yeah i've seen it a very... few times nice yeah. sure youtube is a university <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 push up push up c21 tell me if you want to rotate a, uh, reading maybe i will read this one kasim ali yeah. baba sure yeah. is right. irwin luck Kasi- irwin luck irwin luck okay okay yeah. irwin luck okay. took out him last time also yeah yeah i even february he was there in uh, mehrabad Yeah, he is there in Mahabad. Yeah, he is not there permanently, but in Feb he was there. I I met him at uh, Pau Kalchuri's uh, son's place, yeah, and he gave a of the small talk there. Yeah. Kasim Ali Baba. You shared a photograph about it. I remember. It's been luck, right? Yes, yes. Been luck. Yes. Go ahead, uh, Kushab. Yeah. Kasim, Kasim, Kasim Ali Baba. Kasim Ali Baba. A very good mus. Sometimes Mazub like and sometimes Salil like. Salik like. He lives. He lives at a little village called Jalalpur, about seven miles from Kushab. A village difficult of access for the only track to it is rutted, stony and sandy. This mus has the reputation of possessing occult powers. and is believed to be able to cross rivers without swimming or using a boat he seems also to have an uncanny power over a group of people since when he addresses an audience each person feels that he is alone <coughs> and that kasi kasi malis the mark are addressed to him in a particular a short, a short while after kasim ali baba kasim ali baba came to uh, kushab some of the local a uh, peasantry are said to have had identical dreams wherein a uh, deceased saint son at which shirin they used to pray for favors <coughs> appeared to them and told them that the power was now with kasim ali and that they should henceforth go to him with their prayers kasim ali is an old man perhaps 80 years of age and wears very dirty rag clothes before he came to kushab he he used to uh, wonder about for some 30 years <coughs> 1946 october 6 great okay uh, ashok ji you want to read for some time yeah okay 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 i found out the the human Movie. side of the god by irwin luck awesome. the youtube i'll post it i'll find the video and post it human side of god okay thank you so much okay once again uh, uh, 
this is 1940 december 6th or 7th 1941 february 15th kila karai e30 kira karai kira karai okay thanks um e13 palukula baba a very great must between the sixth plane and the seventh whom baba once referred to in a broad sense as the king of all must he was a muslim of southern india and his language was tamil so that baba's men very few of whom no tamil were not able to converse with him easily baba first tried to find follow kolabwa as early as january 1940 and at that time he actually made a journey in pursuit of him to cape comorin the southernmost cape of india it was not however until november 1940 when baba and his group were in ceylon that kaka got wind of the whereabouts of palukula baba and he therefore set off across the shallow waters that separate ceylon from india and made his way to the village of kilakarai there he found this very this great must a very aged man and infirm man believed to be 115 to 120 years old he was so infirm that he was unable to walk and had to be carried from place to place wow 120 wow uh, continued i mean palukula baba continued so that kaka was obliged to change his original plan of trying to bring his this great must with him to baba in ceylon kaka therefore stayed the night in kilakarai and that evening he was told many tales of palukula baba's greatness this must had the reputation of crossing deep rivers without aid and the following tale is an example of this mysterious power many years previously palukula baba used or twice a month to be ferried across the neighboring river by a muslim boatman when she would visit a certain village beyond the further bank one day palukula baba appeared on the river bank and told the ferryman to go along to, to go alone across the river in his boat and then, and then make his way at once to a friend of his in a certain village beyond the further bank and so the ferryman crossed the river and went at once to his friend's house and to his aston- astonishment found palukula baba already there sitting with his friend palukula baba was too old and frail to have swum across the unbridged river and there were it seems no other boats in sight at that time the fact that by some means palukula baba had reached his friend before him convinced the ferryman that he had witnessed a miracle from this and from many other individual miracles the fame of palukula baba began to be bruited abroad and his reputation became very great okay baba first contacted him on his return from ceylon on 6th or 7th december 1940 when the group was staying for a day or two at ramnath on that occasion baba sat with him alone for half an hour the second contact was only 2 months later when baba came from jaipur in rajputana to his far southern extremity of the indian peninsula baba reached kilakarai on 15 february his birthday and that morning told those with him to fast until he had contacted palukula baba After sit- sitting with him for one hour, the party returned to the local dark bungalow to break their fast. This was the final contact with this great must, who has since passed away. See photograph. You like wow. to? Wow, Baba has oh. actually been to Ramnad. Uh, uh, I'll just show you the on the map. It's very close to uh, the. I mean, it's on in the. It's on the coast. Uh, this is Palukola Baba, by the way. and <clears throat> ramnad is here kirakarai is here and ramnad is somewhere here right wow. so they are all just across the i mean you can literally a good swimmer can make his way to to ceylon just by swimming across 
<laughs> yeah. Interesting. Are these most of the people are Muslims or what? Uh, there's a combination. So Ramnad is uh, also home to a lot of Hindus. But right now, there is an even split between Hindus, uh, Muslims, and Christians. So mm. uh, I did not know that Baba has been to Ramnad. I went twice to Ramnad as I was helping my aunt, who was actually trying to dispose her uh, 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 some property that she had. Maybe we should have bought it. <laughs> I, I was tempted to buy it, but I did not know the Baba connection. If there was a Baba connection that I had known about, I would have probably bought it. It was, it was a, it was a private, I mean, a beachfront property, and it was going wow. for a song. It was going for a song. She was, she was. It was a distress sale. Uh, it's my own mo uh, mother's sister. She, she didn't know what to do with it, and I would have just picked it up for. I mean, maybe me and some of us here could have picked it up. It was 40, 50 lakhs. Right, uh, three four acres of land. Oh, is it get... Ramnathapuram? Uh... Yeah, Ramnathapuram. Ramnathapuram, but oh. it's actually called Ramnad. Ramnad. I'll show you a photograph. It's a very very beautiful part. Ramesh... Uh, it's very, very close, close to, to Rameshwaram. Rameshwaram. Very close to Rameshwaram. Mm -hmm. So, hey, Ramnad. question. I have a question about this mus. Uh, yeah. When if the must dies, they are reborn as the same plain must, right? Yeah. So, if I may, uh, Ravi, answer your question. It's there in listen humanity. Uh, you either, uh, when you die, you you are you are born in another body, or you get God realization. So there are two aspects to it. So we don't know each his own. As yeah, God realization is simple, but uh, there are must who lived for uh, fourteen hundred years. Ah, that is. To be researched, yes. You know, ba Baba mentioned about uh, what is that uh, place called near uh, Maharashtra? Uh, near Maharashtra or in Maharashtra? In Maharashtra. Pandalpur? No, 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 no. These, uh, uh, what Maharaj? Uh, Maharaj. Uh, Upasni he... Maharaj. Huh? Is it Upasni Maharaj? No, see, this, uh, this must comes to this uh, perfect master. Um, Samrat, what Samrat? Uh, so this uh, Narayan must, Maharaj, uh, yes. uh, Narayan huh? Maharaj. Narayan no, Maharaj. No, no, not this per five perfect man. Akol, Akol. Oh, okay, okay. Akalkot. You're talking about uh, uh, Akal court. Akal court. Okay, okay. Swami Samarth. So, uh, no, Akal court. Akal court. Uh, Akal court is Swami Samarth. Swami. What's that? No, no, Samartra. no. Yeah, Swami Samarth is Akal Kot. Oh, I see. Samarth Ramdas. So, yeah, this uh, this perfect master who lived for 140, uh, 1400 years. No, 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 140 years. No. You're talking about. <laughs> I'm missing Samarth, right? that part. But uh, this Akal Kot Maharaj slaps him. You have been having some illicit uh, relationships, and he slaps him with the right hand. Uh, the cycle court uh, perfect master, and uh, he was uh, he was in fourth plane, I think fifth plane. I'm not fourth plane. Uh, Karthik, there's some some mention about 15th century uh, above above. Just just can you go above Swami Samarth? There's something about 15th. I couldn't read that whole thing. If you can just put ah, on Swami that. Samarth, and I believe he's he gets God realization. It's considered as extension of the 15th century incarnation of Lord Lord Dattaray. Yeah, so he's the Dattatre tradition. So same tradition as Sai Baba. Swami Samarth. Okay. Uh, Akal Kot, he has a yeah. huge following. In fact, uh, in my first on my first trip to uh, Mehrabad, where I came as a stranger, I decided to create an itinerary of uh, uh, mm -hmm. spiritual places and uh, religious places in and around Maharashtra. So I visited Akal Kot on that trip. Oh my God! So many in Maharashtra. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Kannada, many. many Kannada and Maharashtra people follow Swami Samarth. Yeah, yeah. Not only Maharashtrian, but Kannad people also. Kannad, ka, yeah. Many so Kannada. there's another uh, uh, prominent, uh, 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 you know, saint 
called uh, Narasimha Saraswati. Narasimha Saraswati is also linked to uh, Dattatreya. So he is again uh, uh, on the border of uh, Karnataka and Maharashtra. So uh, uh, I think he's mentioned in uh, uh, Infinite Intelligence, one of the, uh, 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 the, the profiles of the saints in Maharashtra, uh, Narasimha Saraswati is mentioned. And so is uh, Swami Samarth, I think, if I recollect. Kartik, uh, yeah. put all your all these experiences of religious places and all probably in a book. Yeah. Baba, say, Baba said anything about Swami Samarth? Any, any, because of that area, yeah. the timeline was not that same. Yeah, but, Baba uh, has not said anything about Swami Samarth. He has not. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I, I, I remember looking that up. There was no, no, no reference. So I don't know if he's a perfect master. But his, his tagline is similar to what Baba says, you know. Me, Tumari, I am behind your back. So generally oh. I've seen written under his uh, picture. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Similar, similar, Swami, message. similar message. Swami Samartha was also claiming as an avatar, I think. He was also claiming the same thing. That's a three, like Datta, Datta means uh, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, right? So Correct. he's Combinate. one of the yeah. part of Datta. That's what he claimed. I, that's what I, I uh, read or heard somewhere. Yes, yes. It, it, it is accepted that he is one of the avatars of uh, Datta Treya. For the Datta Treya people, that, the, those who believe in that, uh, they treat, it, treat him and uh, Sai Baba as incarnations of Datta Treya. But then again, Baba didn't, mm. didn't give any importance to that, right? Uh, so he treated only the perfect mastership of Sai Baba. Uh, he acknowledged that. An avatar has a different meaning, right? In our context. So that's the difference. Okay. So, so many people claim as an avatar. <laughs> yes. So it's like uh, uh, in India, it's very uh, sainthood and avatar are very easily used terms. So it's yeah. very difficult. Yeah, yeah. See, Baba said everybody is, a, you know, we are the avatar of our past life. Exactly. <laughs> you, you, uh, yeah. Yeah. In that sense, yes. Nowadays, this new uh, Baba, Neema Karoli Baba, if you guys. Uh, he's not new. Know, he's, he's, uh, he's just become popular thanks to uh, okay. Steve Jobs and uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, he's he's uh, actually in uh, North India. But again, he's still alive or he's passed away? He's uh, passed away. He's passed away. I don't think uh, Baba has mentioned anything about him. Uh, but yeah, he has a very big following both in India and he's a lot of miracles are attributed to uh, him and uh, life changing experiences and so on. I I went by his ashram but didn't actually. Go in. So, there are some right? Western. Uh, there are Western. Hardwar, Western Hardwar, uh, yes. Yeah. Swamiji like people whose guru is Karoli Baba. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That uh, Caribbean yeah. guy, that black gentleman, he's, uh, he's in a Wildwood state, higher state, and uh, he gives very mature talks. And the guy who wrote the book, uh, the, the Power of Now, have you uh, ever read anybody read yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, you're talking about. I've read the book. Uh, you're oh, talking what? about uh, what's his name? He's 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 uh, he's amazing. He's amazing. Ca he's Canadian, amazing. right? He's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he also he's refers amazing. to Neem Karoli, is it? Yeah, he's his guru, I Rob. think. Robin Sharma, you're talking? Uh -huh. No, no, no. Power of now. Uh, he written by Eckhart Tolle. Eckhart Tolle, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think his guru. Yeah. Yeah. He's amazing. You should listen to the many many celebrities follow him, and I think people pay, like they they got very many miracles. They experienced many miracles when they went to Nimakaroli Baba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again. All of these uh, in my shopping, spiritual shopping days, all of this used to uh, attract my interest. Post Baba, it really doesn't matter, right? <laughs> <laughs>
it's just another name. Okay. So yeah. when you have the highest of so the high if prices, you want to buy, there was a, something that I was reading uh, in uh, uh, Listen Humanity yesterday. If you want to buy a pin, you go to a retail shop, right? So these are the people who are selling pins, small items, you know, mm -hmm. for instance, yeah. like this. If you want the real thing, you have to go to Baba. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's yeah. like a, it's like fully delegated, you know, distributed system of execution. But Sanjay, Sanjay, that's very interesting. Even to go to Baba, they have to go through via. Yes, yes, yes. We must have something. gone through all this in our past lives. So yeah. That yeah. way we are lucky. Yeah. Have the highest, the high, when you have the highest of the yeah. high, you don't have to go anywhere. There, there may be different ways. There may be different ways to go a to different the, paths. Uh, you like different paths are there, right? Yeah. So we are on the correct path. Yeah, maybe we don't. We're on the correct path, but might be that other paths also may be going to the same location. Might be long cut. We don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. All rivers go yeah. to the same sea, I'm, right? So same Baba sea, yes. said this. I'm reminder of Kama's famous uh, tagline: "Different strokes for different folks." Hey, where is Kama, man? I, I Kama, swear. my God, he sent me his itinerary. My it's God, he is mind -boggling. going all over, man. <laughs> <laughs> Scotland, anyway, Ireland, yeah. England. Now South America, and now he is back. He's going back to. I mean, he will be back for the wedding. That much I know. Uh, Bangalore, Vidya's. Uh, oh, that's Bangalore. how I knew of the wedding. So, mm. so he must Whose be. wedding is that? Uh, Vidya ji's daughter. I see. Vidya, Alex, like yes. Yeah. When is that? Alex, when? I don't know. It's I think first or second week of August. So he must be heading India world right now. So or Karthik, at least soon. Uh, yeah. Uh, we stop here or should I read one paragraph? Yeah, I think let's finish off uh, the three of them in, on this page. Let's finish okay. off with this. Yeah. So Aftar Meher Baba Kiche, Kishangar, B5, Bhavi Baba. This is Bhaiya Baba. Bhaiya Baba. Bhaiya Baba. Thanks for correcting. 1941 June. A good must and one who showed reluctance to be contacted by Baba. Contact with other must, particularly my Bab of Aurangabad, and at times Chatti Baba has shown that their reaction to Baba is ambivalent and that they may at times suffer some sort of spiritual burden that is almost beyond their power to endure. Bhriya Baba was first met in a restaurant and he refused to come for Baba's contact. When asked to sit near Baba, he replied, I know what your work with me is, and I won't come. Baba then wanted to feed him with his own hands, but he replied, give me food, I will eat it myself here. Eventually, he left this restaurant for another, and with a little further gentle persuasion, he was finally contacted satisfactorily. Kolgaon, D8, known as poor. No, no, it's Nike. not. It's just, it's the, uh, it's general. It's a generic term. So he's okay. met some poor. Okay, okay. 1946, March 16, a thousand poor people of this village were each given a bundle of 16 pounds of ground nuts wrapped in two yards of white cloth. Baba, in the seclusion of a specially prepared room, gave these bundles to each person, old and young, men and women, some blind, some lame and bent, all poor country folk, hardened by a life of poverty and manual labor. Each person was selected in advance by a team of workers and given a number ticket, which was handed in before entering the door of the room in which Baba sat. Kota, D6, Peer Fazal Shah, 1946, October 12th. An adept pilgrim, believed to be about 117 years old, but at the time of contact, still sound in wind and limb. When Baba and his group arrived, Fazal Shah began talking in a disconnected and incomprehensible way, as if possessed by some overpowering spiritual fervor. He then greeted Baba and his men with much respect and cordiality and brought a chair for Baba, inviting him alone to be seated as if he recognized him at once as a master. 
After a short while, Fazl Shah and Baba entered the room and sat alone together. Those outside heard Fazl Shah crying out with great feeling. He told Baba, no one until you came has touched my heart with the arrow of divine love. You have the power to destroy and flood the world. No one fully knows. The limits of your greatness. You are the spiritual authority of the time. And if I were to die, I would take another body to be close to you. He later asked Baba to write him as soon as he returned home and added that he would be very restless until he heard from Baba. He insisted that Baba should take down his address and this was written down by one of his disciples and handed to Baba before the party left. Fazal Shah used to scrub his own room out wherever he stayed and was widely revered by thousands of people. It is said that he has since died. The date Total of and... contact was uh, 1946, October 12th. Let's uh, draw it to a close at this point and then okay. uh, continue next weekend. But this was a lovely session. I really enjoyed myself and learned so much. Uh, thanks everybody for your inputs and lovely conversation. Yes. And there is a definite correlation between the latitude at Kashmir and Singapore. <laughs> yes, yes. Jai Baba. Jai Baba. Baba. Very good. Okay. Avatar Meher Baba ki Jai. Baba ki jai. Baba ki jai. Jai Baba. Jai Baba. Have a good one.